Morgan Dollars, oh my, one of my favorite categories. We've had a couple tonight, but this one, our best price, period, and it's our lowest price out this week. Let's take a peek. We have two years available at your discretion. These are vintage pre-1900. These are pre-1890. These are actually 1889 and 1890. But tonight, other than their gorgeous uncirculated specimens, I got give or take 38 to 40 of each of them, so we'll have a couple of minutes before they go away. We're at just $69.95 for a vintage Morgan dollar. Now, the hype of the Morgan dollar is why you can't find them today. And the hype was last year, remember? 2021. We celebrate the 100th anniversary of the last Morgan, which was 1921. And they made all five mints. So they made Philadelphia, these coins, San Francisco, New Orleans, Denver, and they made that beautiful Carson City again for the first time since 1893. But they made all of them the same, 175,000 coins. And can you find any of those today? With 175,000 known to exist, for under a buck 80, somebody said the other day, I found one for 179, one of them. Most of them are 199 or north of that if you want the O's and the CC's, right? These are the vintage coins from 130 plus years ago. Not medallions or remakes like a lot of people made last year because you couldn't find coins. These are the real McCoys. Philadelphia Strucks, the high point on the obverse, right above her earlobe and across her brow. You can see the word liberty very, very vividly. That's a gorgeous coin. The reverse, it's the eagle in the middle. Now, these are Philadelphia Strikes, which means at the bottom of the coin, above the D and the O and dollar, there's no mint mark. That was only used by the branch mints, the S's, the O's, the CC's, or the one year, the D in 21. But the reverse, the high point's the eagle, right in the middle, and it's the breast feathers. Look at these Philadelphia strikes here in a second. Look at these gorgeous pieces. The detail on these is outstanding. Now, my competition sells circulated coins for over 100. Wow. These are uncirculated coins for under 100. They also sell these exact same two coins. They're at 147 on the 89. The 90's a little bit rarer. They're at a buck 58. We're at 69.95. Your choice as they last. Now, what the your choice means for those of you that are visiting us for the first time, and thank you, it means that where a lot of our competitors on TV will give you a low price, you usually got to buy everything they got to get that low price. The your choice for us means you just pick the coin you want. That's the price, the lowest price, and join us. So if you only want one and you want the 1889 because it's the oldest of the two, thank you. That's all you got to do. Love to have you buy 10 each, but that's not the way we roll. We love doing business, whether it's a single coin or a roll of coins. Whatever works for you individually is the deal. That's the personal side of it. We are, we're collectors. And tonight we're looking at 130-year-old coins that look better than the Silver Eagles I bought this year from the U.S. Mint directly. Am I right or wrong with that? These are gorgeous specimens, but, and that but part is hanging out there a little bit for us to get dangled on, right? What gorgeous specimens. Now, for us, Morgan Dollar's under $79.95. What, and we've got four shows a week, and we're already way into the year, and we've had them available, what, three or four times this year? So it's always about being at the right place at the right time, and tonight is the right time. Tomorrow is the wrong time. Tonight they're $69.95, and they're a bargain for everybody. As I referenced earlier, that is the eagle reverse. That's the high point to breast feathers. That's the knockout punch. Gorgeous coins. All of them original. Somebody was a steward of all these coins for the last 130 plus years to where they survived for us to enjoy them here today. And I mean enjoy. How can you not enjoy a coin looking like this? I mean, medallions don't look this nice. And they're made fresh as they can find the silver, the process, and make into medallions. These are legal tender coins. 
U.S. Mint issue. These are not remakes or facsimiles. They might look like it, but they're not. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal deal while our supplies last. So what was going on is the other way to look at these coins. And I love looking at time and history. We were younger. Four states were added to the Union in 1889. North Dakota, South Dakota, right? Montana, Washington State. We were now at 42 in 1889. We added two more in 1890. Then we go, and that was, I'm sorry, Idaho and Wyoming, excuse me, now at 44. In 1889, what was going on? The Oklahoma land rush, right? Get in your buggy or your wagon, get on your horse, or run really fast, but go way out there, put your flag down, stake your claim, it's yours. We want you to settle this country and help us expand. Try doing that today, right? Coca-Cola is formed. By the way, it lost to Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper started in 1888. And who was president? Well, President Harrison. Now, the other side of it, it's the late part of the year. We see football in college Saturdays. When was the very first ever Army-Navy football game? That was in 1890. And Navy won. So just a little minute sidebar. Those are all Googleable or uh, almanacs. It just, it's just cool facts. That what was going on when these coins were the coins you would walk into the general store with and say, I need this week's groceries. One minute clock, guys. We got to be going on or moving on. We're down to our last roll each. As I referenced, we were 38 to 40 of each. We're down to half. Thank you, lots of people on the phones. If you're visiting us via the web, thank you. That's a smart way to get in and cut the line without having to pay for it, but also a way to uh, push through and lock in your order. If you're gonna hang with us for a little while, we got a lot of great stuff as we get to the end of the show here tonight. We don't want anybody to miss out, but that way at least you lock it down. But not over 100 bucks for Cirque, not 147, not 158, respectively. These are originals tonight, and we're under 70, which is the lowest price we've had on pre-1900, which is vintage 1800s dated Morgan dollars. Our competition on TV had these the other day, Monday night, you might have seen them. I love it when people watch what other people are offering. They were at what? A buck 39 a coin on sale. Well, we're half the price, and it's a your choice opportunity at $69.95 while they last. Operators are busy, but it is time for us to be moving on.